Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shella Malawson. Coming up on today's bulletin, Zimbabwe's Research Expo gets up and running with a visit from the President. Northern residents are angry about what they say are incorrect energy bills. It's the end of the very successful Zim Fashion Week. And in women's football, New Orleans edge out Kondui in a tense Diamond League match. President Robert Mugabe was in attendance as Zimbabwe's research and intellectual showcase opened with a mixture of speeches and lively performances. Jeffrey Moyer went along to the event. The Research and Intellectual Expo 2012 edition opened in Harare on Wednesday amid pomp and fanfare. The Research and Intellectual Expo Chairperson, Professor Christopher Chetanga, held the annual showcase which has held under the theme Research, Innovation and Creativity for Sustainable Development. This is our second presentation of RAI. RAI is the acronym for Research and Intellectual Exposition. We characterized by thematic paper presentations at plenary sessions, and several parallel sessions at which a number of experts will present technical papers on their research findings. The professor said the expo running from the 5th to the 7th of September will showcase the research products from universities, colleges and polytechnics. This expo will flash a strong light in conveying and sharing science and technology as well as output from our social sciences which have been developed by universities and various uh, sharehold, uh, stakeholders who are present here. Professor Chetanga said the Expo offered a platform for the sharing of knowledge and experiences amongst various tertiary institutions in the country. In the following sub-themes, there will be a group of papers on arts, humanities <laughs> and social sciences. There will be a group of papers in a different room on culture and religion, religion and creativity. In a lengthy speech that touched on wide-ranging issues, Zimbabwe's President Mugabe said that the research outputs were not only for the benefit of scholars, but played a major role in the development of the nation. I am very honored, I feel very honored indeed to have been invited. Our population requires in order for those skills not only to develop the particular individuals who bear them, who carry them, but also the environment in which the individuals with the skills have to apply them. Reverend Paul Damasani thrilled the audience with poetic and debele warrior style praise chantings. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Northern residents are furious with Zesa over inflated bills which they say do not tally with the energy they've used. Margaret Chirairo reports. Huge electricity bills based on estimates from the power utility Zesa have angered not on residents who say they are distorted and punitive. ATV spoke to some residents who felt that the electricity bills are not a true reflection of the consumption at household level. Yeah, Especially in the Panabanda, it was about $300. In the Panda, it was about $300. It was about $100 per month. But instead, it was about $100 per month. It was based on estimate. It was based on the estimate. It was based on the estimate. It was based on the estimate. Residents are now bitter over the failure by the power utility to make adjustments on bills or to introduce prepaid meters. Billing, I'm a 
you know, we are the 250 and we are the 50 dollars, we are the 20 dollars. So, you know, we are going to do the 200 and something. We are in the industry. So, you know, we are going to do the no, 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 Residents started feeling the impact of the electricity bills following the collapse of the Zimbabwe dollar and the introduction of the multi-current regime system. Ini ni naga changa ugaramu no mu magesa sasa na potanga kutoboi siku. Pa katanga kuiswa magesa e, ma bills acha kanga ri right. Tishiku bada ma zim dollars. Pa kaza kanga kuita U S dollar. Akatanga kuya ma bills ari hundred acha kuti kune mu nuwez. Pa takatanga kubada ari ma fifty fifty chitira geti kire shikwe tisha zwa bills. Aita say awi ari kuma ma U S dollars. Mario ya kanga singa tombo ziki siku. Acha kanga tanga pa takatanga kubada ma zima U S dollars. Norton the saw officials declined to comment on the matter. Residents are now pinning their hopes on prepaid meters, which CESA has started rolling out in most parts of the country. Reporting for ATV in Norton, Zimbabwe. The curtain has come down on the country's annual fashion showcase, an event which has generated a lot of interest among fashion enthusiasts. Jairo Saunyama saw the show's finale for ATV News. The Zimbabwe Fashion Week ended on a high note with local and international fashion designers showcasing their unique fashion taste. This year, the event attracted scores of people who were treated to music and other dance performances. We are here because we are passionate about Zimbabwean fashion and we're passionate about what's happening in the design world here. There's so many amazing young talents coming through and I believe it's the future of Zimbabwe. So we're here to show what we're all about and to support other designers and kind of have like a amalgamation of all our design talents happening at the same time. A clothing material retailer said he got a tremendous response from exhibitors. Uh, basically we've had a very good response. I mean this is the, now the third year that we've been involved with Fashion Week and it's been a tremendous uh, response, especially last night. The opening show was amazing. Fashion enthusiasts had a great time at the show, getting a glimpse of new trends in the fashion industry. It has been amazing. I was very surprised. Uh, this is my uh, first fashion week to attend and it is amazing. It is more than what I've been hearing. Uh, fashion week has been amazing. Yeah. Um, in Dow is unbelievable and we're feeling incredibly lucky. I've just bought a piece myself. I'm a client. I don't actually work here. But they're phenomenal. They're based in Victoria Falls and I would definitely, definitely use them. The manager of fashion week Asa Jogi said the event was a great success owing to the big response from both the participants and the crowd. It's our third International Fashion Week happening here in Zimbabwe. Uh, it's the first of this size ever before uh, and we've just been having a fantastic time. Fashion, music, style, dance, drinking, it's been absolutely incredible. He said this year's theme, Breaking Barriers, said it all about the Fashion Week which is now in its third year running. Breaking Barriers was, was chosen because we felt that it was time to step outside what everyone expects us to do. You know, when everyone hears about Zimbabwe, they don't think about fashion. And we wanted people to come here and be blown away by how we can break out of that barrier. Some designers got awards in various categories such as top designer, top model and top blogger. The fashion show attracted designers from South Africa, Botswana and Zimbabwe and including among others, Sibong Lechimanikire, Rumbidza Ngwarai, Sandra Matamisa, Melusi Nengu, David Klale, and Black Trash. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Bulawayo women's soccer side New Orleans beat Conduin by one goal to nil in a closely fought Diamond League match. Melody Mukutu caught the action. New Orleans crushed Kurove side Conduit 1-0 in the Marange Diamonds League match played at Triton Sports Club in Bulawayo. New Orleans players were very energetic at the first half of the game and Nomsa Voma scored a classic goal within 20 minutes. Nomsa conveyed her excitement over the score. That classic goal. 
Ah, I would say I enjoyed it. I was happy. Because at the end of the day, that score stands and you get the points. Coach of New Orleans, Bon Mabaisa, said although they won the match, they still need to work hard to improve the team's expertise. Yeah, we'll try. Is uh, we'll try hard, but I can't promise. All this fight hundred percent. They wait for ninety minutes in each game we play. Kuruwe side Conduit began to dominate in the second half, but luck was not on their side as their opponents were having strong defense. Hilda Matavo, the captain of Conduit, told ATV that the team needs more time to strengthen their aptitude. That was it is a, a tough, but it's such not a, a hard because we are losing my key. Ekmo Judge Koka, the coach of Conduit, stated that despite losing the game to New Orleans, he is satisfied with the performance of the girls. We played very well to our instruction. We were only using one striker. So yeah, though it didn't pay a good dividend, but it was a good performance since we are playing big teams. New Orleans is sitting at the fourth position of the log standings with 14 points while Conduit is struggling at the bottom of the Marange Demos log standings. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.